Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to obtain API keys. Okay, so very briefly, what's an API key for? Well, an API key is effectively, um, think of it as an authentication token. Um, and it basically allows you to work with IBM Cloud um, resources uh, from programs. So uh, things like um, Node.js, uh, maybe some JavaScript, uh, Python, for example. So you can actually write um, programs in code um, and then make uh, make calls to your um, IPM cloud services via, via lots of different API calls. So think of it as, um, I suppose, like a token or a key, which actually allows you to connect to IBM cloud and actually work with those services. And as part of that token, um, it also makes sure that you're actually authorized um, to be using those services as well. So there's a couple of types of API key uh, in IBM Cloud. So the first one is the IBM Cloud API key. Uh, and this type of key is basically one that allows you to work with um, the majority of the services uh, within IBM Cloud. Um, you can generate multiple API keys. So you can use different API keys uh, for different services if you want to and within different programs. Uh, and then you also have a classic infrastructure API key, uh, and that's really for um, use with classic infrastructure, so things like uh, virtual server instances, um, classic storage, that kind of thing. So these, so with this, you uh, each user can have a maximum of one classic infrastructure API key within your account. So depending on the type of use that you have for your API key, depending on the type of program that you're actually writing, you'll need either an IBM Cloud API key or you'll need a classic infrastructure API key. So creating them is really simple. Um, so with the IBM Cloud API keys, you can either create those via the console or you can use the IBM Cloud CLI or you can also use things like curl commands as well to, uh, to, to create those. But with a classic infrastructure API key, um, you effectively do that via the console. So let's go and have a look now uh, at the console and I'll show you how to create um, the IBM Cloud API keys and the classic infrastructure API key in the console. And then what we're going to do is hop over to uh, a terminal session and I'll show you how to create IBM Cloud API keys uh, through the IBM Cloud CLI. Okay, so here I am in my IBM Cloud account at cloud.ibm.com. And uh, to actually start creating an API, what I need to do is uh, just click on the manage menu item at the top here, click Access IAM, and just let the screen re uh, refresh. And then if I go down to this menu option here, API keys, and we can see them now in my API keys um, screens. So I'm, uh, so from this drop down list here, you can see the different types of API key that are available. Um, so basically we're gonna be sticking today with the uh, My IBM Cloud API keys. We're also gonna look at this classic infrastructure API key is one just creating that. So let's stick with uh, my IBM Cloud API keys. And to create it, it's really simple. Press the blue button here. Now give the API key a name, so make it you know meaningful. So I'm going to call this um, IBM Cloud Foundation Skills API. And I'm going to give it a description. So um, this API was created making a video. So there we go. So I'm going to uh, give that a description so I know what it's for and the name gives me some kind of meaning as well. Then I'll just click create and uh, let it do its thing for about two seconds. And then what you can see is it's actually now created the API key for me. So. What do I do next? Well, first of all, I can uh, I can go and have a look at the API key. Now, again, something you should never do is actually share your API key with anybody that you don't want to have the API key. So think of this as a password, because essentially that's what it is. Um, if you go sharing your API key, then immediately you're making your account um, insecure. So, any, so if you do share it, make sure you know who you're sharing it with. So you can have a look at the API key from here. So I click on this little eye icon. So you can see what an API key actually looks like, and it's this sort of um, scramble of uh, letters and numbers. Um, you can copy the API key, so if you want to use it immediately, um, you can copy it and then obviously paste it into something. 
The other thing you can do is actually download the API key as well. Uh, so you might actually want to keep the API key because as soon as you've created it and you come out of this screen, then you'll no longer be able to actually see what the API key is or actually um, download the API key again. The only thing you'll be able to do if you need the API val key value, um, the only thing you'll be able to do um, is actually create a new one. So if you need to save it, if you want to have it for a longer period of time, you might want to use it in a program or something like that. Download it or copy it somewhere where it's safe. So make sure that you um, store it safely and securely. Okay, so I've created that API key. So let's just uh, um, come out of there. So you can see here now that I've got my API key, you can see that I've uh, created it. If I click on the uh, thing here, I can uh, on the little menu here, I can see details. So you can see what the detail uh, the details are. So it's the name, the status, um, who created it, when, and all the rest of it. Uh, if you click edit, um, you can change the name of the API key and maybe the description. Uh, but again, you can't actually see what the API key value is. Uh, now you've also got this this option to lock it. So if you lock the API key, what that's essentially doing is making sure that you can't uh, delete the API key. So um, so uh, occasionally you might want to be doing a bit of a clear out, delete some of your old API keys. But if you don't want to accidentally delete your API key because um, you're using it in a program, for instance, which you know uh, needs to keep working, uh, if you don't, so if you don't want to accidentally delete it, then make sure that you lock it. Uh, and then again, of course, it's actually quite easy to unlock it too. Okay, so you just click unlock. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do in uh, in here is is then delete this. I don't need this key anymore, so I'm going to delete it, especially as I'm obviously um, showing you what the the API key value is. So I'm going to delete that key, so I can no longer use it. So of course that's dead easy. I just click delete and then click delete there. Okay, so that's a, sort of a standard uh, programmatical API key. Now the other type of API key that comes up from time to time um, is a classic infrastructure API key. So to create the classic infrastructure key is dead simple. Just press on the blue button here and there you go, your API key has been created. So again, you can go and view it, uh, you can copy it, you can download it as before. But unlike uh, the other types of API key, when you actually move away from that, uh, from that little screen, um, if you want to see your API key uh, value again, if you click details, um, then there you go, you can actually see the value of this API key. So you can see the value of the API key after you've created it, if it's a classic infrastructure API key, um, but you can't if it's an ordinary um, IBM Cloud um, API key. Okay, so just be aware you can't actually lock this one, so you just need to be careful you don't accidentally delete it. Uh, but I'm going to delete this one anyway because again, you know, I shouldn't really be um, showing my API key off um, to uh, to other people because that's again it's insecure. Okay, so let's go and see how to do this another way. So I'm actually going to use um, the um, IBM Cloud CLI um, to create my uh, an API key. Now this is, again is going to be an IBM Cloud um, API key. It's not going to be a classic infrastructure API key. Um, you can actually create the classic infrastructure API key um, through the CLI. Okay, so let's go and create uh, an IBM Cloud IAM API key. So let's do this. I'm going to use the, as I say, I'm already logged into my, my account. So I'm going to use IBM Cloud uh, and I'm going to use the IAM plugin. So it's API key create. I'm going to give the key a name, so FFS key, so that's my key name. So I'm going to give it a description so that I know what it's for. So this is my foundation skill series key. And I'll need to put that in quote marks. And then I'm going to give it, uh, put it into a file because I obviously want to save it. So I'm going to give it uh, my FFS key as the file name. So it's going to save in my local directory. Okay, so we press enter on that. And uh, you can see that it's going to go and create the key. So there you go, it's now created uh, my key for me. So again, we can go and have a look at that. So uh, I can do a, a cat on here. So my FFS key. And there you go, you can see my key information. Now again, you don't share that information with uh, with other people, uh, but effectively you can see the uh, 
the API key details there. Okay, now similarly you can lock that as well. So um, I can use um, IBM Cloud um, IAM and again API key and this time it's lock and again I use the key name here. So uh, so the key um, name was FSS key. Okay, so obviously made a typo there. So you just can see that I've put a minus IAM. Uh, in there as well. So let's uh, try that again. So um, so do I really want to lock it? So yes, I do. And there you can see I can now, I've now locked my key. So that should mean that I can't actually delete the key. So let's try this again. So API key and then it's delete FSS key. So this is this is the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the command for actually deleting the key. So do I really want to delete this key? So we can see is uh, well the API is locked. Um, you can't actually do that. So let's unlock the key. So again, let's um, change my command. So I'm using I API key, then unlock, and then uh, FS key. So do I really unlock it? Yes. And uh, okay, it's unlocked. So again, what I'm now going to do is actually delete the key because again, I don't want to be. Uh, um, showing my key to everybody. So I'm just going to delete this key again just to make my account secure. So it's IBM Cloud, IM API key delete FFS key. So that's the key name. And uh, do I really want to delete it? So yes. And you can see uh, now the key was deleted. Okay, so and that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope from that you found that it's uh, actually really simple to create your API keys. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel um, using the buttons on screen. And if you have enjoyed it, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.